Welcome to Creative Biolabs. Phage displays a new technique for fusion expression of exogenous peptide or protein genes and bacteriophage specific protein genes on its surface. This technique realizes the unity of phenotype and genotype. With the further development of phage display technology, its advantages are recognized by more and more laboratories, which not only expands its scope of application, but also enables it to be continuously improved and developed. Here we will explore the role of phage display in antibody development and the corresponding services provided by Creative Biolabs. In phage display, the foreign DNA fragment encoding polypeptide is fused with the coding gene of phage surface protein. And the resulting fusion polypeptide will be displayed on the surface of phage and maintain the relative spatial structure and biological activity. Phage display systems mainly use filamentous T4, T7, and lambda phage, while M13 filamentous phage is the most commonly used. M13 phage belongs to the group of filamentous phages, which are also called rod-shaped phage. For the capsid proteins are assembled into a filamentous shape. The core of M13 phage is a single-stranded circular DNA, which encodes three types of proteins, the replication proteins, the morphogenetic proteins, and the structural proteins. The current M13 phage display systems for the display of antibodies are based on its P3 region and P8 region. The system based on P8 region is usually applied in the display of small peptide with lower affinity. While the system based on P3 region takes advantage of display of genome or cDNA encoded polypeptide with higher affinity. Thus, P3 region is the most appropriate for antibody display. A typical workflow of phage display starts with the amplification of heavy and light chain genes of the target antibody and the construction of recombinant phage display plasmids, or the phage mids. Once transformed into E. coli, the recombinant plasmids will be replicated, translated, and assembled into infective phages with the target monoclonal antibody displayed on the surface. But this system usually produces phages carrying the target antibody in low ratio. In another system, a helper phage is co-transformed into the E. coli with the phage mid. For the phage mid does not have all the genes necessary to encode a full phage in E. coli. This system, with the helper phage providing the necessary components, takes advantage of producing target antibodies in higher ratio. In antibody engineering, phage display is further used to screen and select the antibody with unique properties, that is phage antibody library technology. This process begins with antibody library preparation, followed by ligation of the variable heavy and variable light PCR products into phage mids, culminating in analysis of clones of monoclonal antibodies. A large antibody library and efficient selection are needed to isolate specific monoclonal antibodies from a cloned immunoglobulin repertoire. Diverse libraries are produced from about 10 to the 8th independent E. coli transformants infected with helper phage. The library is screened for phage binding to an antigen through its expressed surface monoclonal antibody by a technique called biopanning. Cyclic panning allows for pulling out potentially very rare antigen binding clones and consists of multiple rounds of phage binding to antigen, washing, elution, and re-amplification of the phage binders in E. coli. During each round, specific binders are selected out from the pool by washing away non-binders and selectively eluding binding phage clones. After three or four rounds, highly specific binding of phage clones through their surface monoclonal antibody is characteristic for directed selection on immobilized antigen. As one of the well-recognized experts, Creative Biolabs is a professional in applying advanced phage display technologies for a broad range of project objectives. 
We are pleased to offer customized antibody construction services under a variety of phage display systems. We provide excellent service for the construction and screening of immune antibody library generated by our advanced phage display technology. Our professional scientists can generate antibody libraries from diverse species, including common laboratory animals and some infrequent antibody sources, such as human, camel, shark, bovine, and alligator. Creative Biolabs offers engineered protein scaffold library construction service, which has provided a strong foundation for the successful isolation and exploitation of high affinity binders in the fields of research, diagnosis, and therapy. We have developed trimer codon technology, which offers site-directed mutant library construction in a high throughput and extremely precise way. Creative Biolabs developed a constrained peptide library construction technology, which offers constrained peptides with target-adapted cross-links. Our technology involves generating natural or semi-synthetic peptides with constrained structures to retain and improve their properties. Our platform has been optimized over the years to include positional stabilization method, positional cyclization method, and phage display peptide library method. Through years of dedicated research, Creative Biolabs has developed and commercialized an integrated service portfolio based on phage display technology. Currently, a unique generation service is offered to construct genome library for our global clients by using the novel Lambda phage platform. As a long-term expert and market leader in the field of phage display and antibody engineering, Creative Biolabs offers integrated service of cDNA library construction through our unparalleled phage display platform to serve global customers. In addition to phage display library construction, Creative Biolabs offers our customers the best phage display library screening services with excellent biopanning strategies and state-of-the-art equipment. Our scientists will choose the most appropriate strategies to screen the libraries to fit our customers' needs. Many cellular activities are controlled by post-translational modifications, and the related study is hampered by the lack of specific reagents in large part due to their ubiquitous and non-immunogenic nature. Creative Biolabs has developed high AFI technology, offering antibody discovery services specific for post-translational modifications on proteins. Creative Biolabs provides unparalleled custom anti-idiotypic antibody production and downstream assay services to support your study as well as preclinical and clinical trials in the development of monoclonal antibody drugs. We are professional in developing monoclonal antibodies with high specificity and affinity from various species. In addition to mouse and rat hybridoma techniques, we have phage display immune antibody library construction and screening methods, which are the best solution to raise monoclonal antibodies from species in which no hybridoma technology is available. We provide custom idiotypic antibody production services and products to meet every customer's needs. For more details about Creative Biolabs phage display services and other antibody engineering services, please visit our website or contact us directly.